Master Evil 66 here. We're doing a review on the 7119 Twin Pod Cloud Car. This set was released in 2000 and it came with one figure and it's the once almighty made yellow fleshed Lobot figure. So let's take a look at this whole set built right now. Woo! Dun, da, 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 da. Oh man, this is such a nostalgic set. I remember seeing this one on commercials when I was little. And this is the Cloud Car, the only Cloud Car released in its own original set. The only other way you can get a Cloud Car is either by getting the new Advent Calendar, which you can't even fit a minifigure in. You can only get it in the UCS Cloud City that came out in 2019, I believe. If it's 2018, I'm going to feel stupid. But uh, yeah, the Lego Star Wars UCS set is the only other way you can get a new updated Cloud Car unless you want to build your mock of it yourself but here we are with a look at the 2000 version with a lot of nice red brown pieces here and you can open up this side here to fit in a figure and have them control let's see can we get yeah see that control panel down there right there it's kind of reflective nice two by one studded area for them to sit in and the exact same thing is happening here on the opposite side, which has Lobot himself in there. The open part here in the middle, I'm not sure what it's used for. It has tile here, so it can't open and close. But I'm guessing you could put in the walkie-talkie that it comes with. But I don't really keep it in there. It's just kind of weird that this thing moves up and down. Maybe it's a way for them to get up and in to each of the cockpit areas. It uses some jumpers and rail pieces here on the side to close it off for like little windows uh, Lobot is inside of here but I'm having a little trouble getting them out come on oh that's right these do open up here to allow you to get them in and out because their arms do fit in inside these little indented areas as you can see it closes up and then there's still room for them to have their arms there but this is going to be the original Lobot figure. Very awesome. I like the tan print for the arms. I like his little smirk grin. He has a little bit of gray there for the eyebrows. Maybe it's tan. I can't tell. I like his utility belt slash cyborg buttons. I'm not sure what that is. The pockets right here on the vest that he's wearing are nice. And yeah, one of the arms is cracked in the back, but that's okay for me. I got this set really cheap, and the printing on the back is not faded at all for the original Lobot figure. So this is an awesome fig. This is an awesome Cloud City car. And just for you guys watching this LEGO Star Wars Cloud Car review, you wait until you see what I got coming in and why I started to get some of these old 2000 sets. Just wait. But that's going to do it for the end of this video. I hope you guys liked it, and if so, show me that by using the force and the like button. Uh, comment down below if you like this Lobot, this Cloud Car, or any of the other Cloud Cars more than the others. And lastly, subscribe to see more of my daily content for reviews, hauls, builds, live streams, what I do's, and gaming. This is Master Evil 66 signing off. Lobot out, boy. <laughs>